Hey, fam. It's your girl Ash and I am back back with another video. I know your girl has been MIA, but I needed a break. I had to readjust to my schedule and it honestly feels so good to have taken a break but your girl is back because i love you guys and i miss you guys and before i get into this video i just want to give a big shout out to my patreon members if you guys would like to join my patreon or follow me on instagram links will be down in the description below and today i'm going to be checking out the funniest Greg Davies moments on the Graham Norton show. Now, Greg Davies is Mr. Gilbert from The Inbetweeners. I love Mr. Gilbert. I love The Inbetweeners. And if you're new here and would like to check out my other videos, the link will be up at the top. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Enough of me talking. Let's get straight into this reaction. That scene in episode one, the doctor's thing. Yeah. Did that really happen? Yeah. I, my mum will kill me for telling this because it was my uh, <laughs> our, our family doctors and I, I he'd been our family my doctor since I was a child and I, but I went to, as an adult because I, I was there was something wrong with my bum. <laughs> I, when you said bum, you looked at me directly in the eyes and I went, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> so aroused and unnerved and he commented. <laughs> there was something, but there them? was something wrong with my. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> uh, and I was, uh, I said, there's this thing wrong with my bum. And he went, okay. And I went, so, what do you think? He goes, well, it'll probably be all right. <laughs> it'll probably be all right. I said, well, I'd, it, I would really like it. I, I'd like you to just, if you could make me feel better about, if I feel better that it will be all right. And he went, it, I'm, it'll probably clear itself up. And I said, yeah, but is there any way I could be sure? And he went, ah, oh. you want me to put my finger up there, don't you? <laughs> I was like, so he had him boys. It sounded like he might have had him boys. I, yeah, I think him boys is in like the bum bum, right? I never had him boys before, but comment down below. Let me know if you guys ever had him boys. That's what it sounded like he had. I wonder how he got those. <laughs> no. What else would it be? If it's not magically necessary. <laughs> <laughs> the other, I think, maybe, maybe there's a reason, but what is the reason that you film it in the school you used to teach in? I think it's therapy, probably. <laughs> therapy? It's the classroom where I taught, because I was, just to keep the theme going, a real teacher for a long time. Yeah, I taught for... Yeah, for six years in the school that we film it in the classroom that I'm going mad in, and I, that's, but that's well, weird. that was my classroom. Yeah, but you did it for such a long. Did you ever enjoy it? Was there ever a moment when you thought, "Oh, I like this"? I uh, don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he probably, you know what? He probably was comfortable. He he was already teaching in that school anyway, so it was just probably was just you know comfortable for him. I met some very nice people there. And Kids must have liked you. You were nominated for Teacher of the Year, weren't you? Yes, I was, Graham. <laughs> yeah. I was. Yeah. yeah you know, uh, yes. I've told this story many times. But uh, <laughs> Teacher of the Year is a very prestigious award that's taken very seriously and rightly by the hard-working teaching community. And my head teacher called me in and he was wetting himself laughing. In fact, he couldn't stop laughing for the first ten minutes. And he went, I went, what? Why have you called me here? He goes, you've been numb. <laughs> You've been nominated. <laughs> and I went, oh, okay. And um, it was by a very sweet girl called Gemma, who I've humiliated many times. And it's a six page document that people have to fill in for the reasons why you should be nominated for Teacher of the Year. It was blank, <laughs> uh, aside from one sentence that she'd written on it, which was of the reasons why you think he should be Teacher of the Year. And she'd written, he's a well good laugh and he don't make us do no work. <laughs> We were at a BBC party. We shared that glass of wine. It was fun. <laughs> That's Between us. And we met that lovely lady. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised you're bringing that lady up. Are we allowed to bring that lady up? Well, you tell me. It's your show. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it happened to you, not me. So you tell them. What? 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 
But, uh, okay. Wait, hold on. I just, I just want to say, I love Russell Crowe. Oh my God. He's just, he's so handsome. Okay. This lady came up to us. We were at a BBC party. She came up to the two of We were chatting, sharing our wine, straws. And uh, <laughs> she went, I do disability at the BBC. Whatever that means. <laughs> and then she looked at him, and what did she say to you? Well, she said that I qualify. <laughs> He told me that I was technically, as far as the BBC is concerned, disabled. <laughs> I've had a member of a council, I won't know where, tell me that I could get a parking badge. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> the rest of the country is so jealous right now. <laughs> parking badge? <laughs> Thanks for that. Might as well. Take advantage of it. I won't, I won't forget the day that Ryan Gosling high fived me because I'm officially disabled. Small trip seems like that's when all rules go out the window for pupils, everybody. And for teachers, I think. Oh, yeah. AJ! I think. You've got to remember, when I first started teaching, I was 21, 21 years of age, you know. And you oh, wow. Sent, I was sent to Paris on a school trip. <laughs> Three of us, all of us in our early 20s, in charge of a uh, busload of kids. It's, I mean, it's <laughs> frankly amoral. <laughs> <laughs> and kids, you know what? They actually try to intimidate young teachers, so I only could imagine how it was for him. He probably looked like a little baby. The kids probably did not listen to him at all. Do you have to? You know, it's awful. I can say it now. I'm never going to go back to teaching now, right? They weren't <laughs> likely. <laughs> yeah. And I got really drunk with two friends in a hotel room when the kids were all in bed. Like, really drunk. We'd had a bottle of tequila between the three of us. And um, then I heard kids running around. Oh, it's yeah. so bad, isn't it? Her kids running around, and I'm quite good at pretending to be sober when I'm not. So I said, I'll, I'll go out and I'll deal with this to my, to my friend, Tony. <laughs> and, um, and I went out, and there were these kids all in their nighties and pajamas, all giggling. And I went out, and I, what's going on here? Like, sorry, sorry, sorry. I said, you know you should be in your bedroom. This is absolutely disgraceful. And I was doing a beautiful job when Tony <laughs> came out of my room. And I don't know why, he was just in his boxer shoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Went, is, is that Mr. Stevens? <laughs> yes, he's not feeling very well. Clearly. <laughs> Are you a romantic man? Are you a No, I've Ooh. given up on it. It's <laughs> 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 a romance when I was about 22 when I, I bought a, a girlfriend back from college. So my parents got a really nice um, garden and they were away. So I thought, this is. This is perfect. We'll go and sit in the garden. And I made her a picnic. I took some food. Not pig nipples, but I hadn't been introduced to them yet. And it was the food. We sat out there and in the sun and there was grass and sun. Oh, and Ashton one thing led to another. <laughs> I love that. I love that line. She, <laughs> she was wearing... It was really romantic. I don't want to go into details. I don't want to make anyone bring their pig nipples up. But um, <laughs> she had a long flowing skirt and she sat atop of me. <laughs> and, oh, and, oh. and things started to... Like a toilet roll holder. Yeah, a little bit like that, yeah. <laughs> like a really romantic toilet roll holder. Yeah. <laughs> she was there, and it was really romantic, and the breeze, and lovely, and, the, and I thought, well, this is awesome. This is one of the most romantic things that's ever happened between two people. Then my uh, granddad came round the corner. <laughs> I'm not, honestly, I'm not making up that, and he'd never met her before. So he came round and went, hello, you two. <laughs> I went, ah! <laughs> she couldn't get off because it was happening. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. She's really rude if 
them both. It's really <laughs> I've never met her before. Surely she should stand up. She couldn't. So it was a full 15 minute fall. Oh, yeah. With her like this. I mean, that's not our words here, Graham. In her. <laughs> my my granddad making polite conversation. Oh my gosh. That was the day I gave up on romance. <laughs> that had to be awkward. Oh, romance, yeah. Okay, there we go. That had to be so awkward. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he stayed hard. Like, that's kind of like a turn off in a way, right? But then in the same time, but then, but then at the same time, it's kind of like excited. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah, so I hit that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> it didn't talk. Well, don't yeah. hurt yourself. Yeah. It didn't oh, that's that thing that you punch. <laughs> What's happened to it? Shut up! <laughs> just hit it! Just hit it! You just have to hit it! Oh, no, are you serious? Go ahead, go show him, AJ. Go show him, go show him. Now, you got one Do you have any tips? Do you have any tips? Because you're in high heels. Should I take him off? No, I'm not sure. I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> talking to me. <laughs> I mean, um, I no run-ups. If you want to take them off, whatever you feel I wasn't even with. thinking about run-ups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Rachel, go for it. No, no, don't, don't take your shoes off. I just hit like a girl in these. Go on, Rachel. Yeah, oh, oh, I love it. So competitive. Like, wow. Go ahead, girl. Oh, oh, oh. She's down. She's down. She, 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 she slipped. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go first, Rachel, or do you want to go? Oh, I don't mind. I just feel like I could hit. Oh, okay, you seem keen. <laughs> she got on the power now. Are you left or right handed? Uh, right. Right, so you know, right leg back, so you really get the whole. Right drive leg through. back. Okay. And the aim is just to hit it so it goes away. You go, yeah, yeah. you do that, you go boom, and it goes back up. Okay. Okay, okay. go, Graham. Uh, um, honestly, mine was so bad. So uh, let's see what Rachel gets, and then I'll decide if I'm going to do it. <laughs> Yeah, you get a score. Okay. You get a score. You get a score. Left leg forward. Yeah, yeah. Are you in range, though? Are you in range? Cock it all the way back, girl. Is that? Cock forward no, a bit. Cock it all the way back. Remember, remember, your aim is to punch through the bag. Through, so I want to go like that. Yes, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit it. She got a good stance, though. Oh! There's no way. 182? I was thinking it was gonna go to like 50 or 60. What? Come on, Greg. Come on, Mr. Gilbert. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we have 182. 182 to beat. 182 to beat. Okay. I don't know who he is. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There's a terrible thing where you don't care and then you do. Yeah. <laughs> Come and just have a stare down with me. <laughs> and it's who laughs first. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Uh, okay, there you go. Okay. Adele, you, what was yours at eight? Eight? 
I think it was 3,000. <laughs> I know. Oh, six, seven, two. It was six something. What? Six, seven, two. Six, three, two. So if you don't beat that, if you, if if you don't title. beat me. He's definitely <laughs> beat you. I mean, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, here we go, here we go. This Same is it. technique as you. The world shall be. Oh! <laughs> of course he won! Greg, were you channeling the God of Love when you had this picture taken? <laughs> Do you think I look magnificent? That's yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah, I think sweet it's beautiful. You. I may put that on my posters. I personally think I look like a dropped trifle. <laughs> I think so too. So my two nieces uh, this weekend just gone, and they are um, six years old and two years old. And the first things they both said to me before hello, the first niece went, Uncle Greg, we're not allowed to talk about your fat tummy anymore. <laughs> beat. And the three-year-old went, you are fat. <laughs> Turning up. Yes. <laughs> Get us in the mood. Uh, Ken Brown is going to give us uh, a, a, just a, a little bit of form before we do this. Okay. If you do your face off, do your face off. Come on, come on. Okay, off you go. Off okay, you go. ladies and gentlemen, on the left, they call him the postman because he always delivers. It's the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Drop your thoughts and opinions, drop some suggestions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, fam.